50 summers, hundreds of group stage matches, 45 single elimination matches. Two champions arose from those tournaments, all pointing to this moment. 14 summoners fight for the right to be called the VBCs, one above all. Welcome to Vegas Battle World. What is going on, everybody? We're on time today, as I know this is the matchup that everyone wanted to see. This was the rematch. McLinx versus Legacy. Legacy versus McLinx. This is why we did the Constellation Bracket. This is why we did the Deadlands Bracket, to solve drama, to solve the things exactly like this. As you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, it's McLinx, Legacy. The winner is the Conqueror of the Deadlands Bracket. We'll move up to the champion side of the tournament to face off versus none other than FinTech. FinTech has been handling business. We set him up, he's been knocking him down. He's gonna have to face the winner of this one one more time. And I know the most astute of you, the ones paying the most attention big, that scoreboard looks a little bit different. It looks bigger than normal and that is correct. Normally here in the VBC, we do a best of seven. There's so much RNG in this game. There's so many swings. It's so much fun to watch. We want to do our best to say, this is who on this day was playing better. Legacy and Marcelo on their own conversed and asked me and said, can we do a best of nine? Best of seven is not enough for us. Best of seven cannot contain us. Can we do a best of nine? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. I want to see it. I think you want to see it. We're going to get started here in just a minute. We're going to leave up the boards. I do believe I'll be joined by, I know he's your favorite. I know he's one of, one of your favorites. There's so many good ones. I think I'm going to be joined by PWF here in a few minutes. We'll hopefully have him on. I know how much you all enjoy him as the co-host, dropping that knowledge and dropping all that for us. So many people in the in the chat. I'm going to do my best to say a quick hello. I have to start off by saying hello to Misty K, who within a second's notice put together the scoreboard for me. I, uh, I, I, I reached out to Misty and was like, uh, they want to do a best of nine. Can you please put together a board? And they were like, yeah, just let me get to my computer. And literally seconds later, uh, I got that beautiful scoreboard. So graphics work, link in the description for Misty K. We got FinTech here scouting out the competition. An amazing victory from yesterday. If you haven't seen it, even though you know the result, I think it is worth watching. It was a battle. Lags and Finn. I really appreciate the show they put on. Jorge, what's up, dude? Laser, Enzo, Anderson, Clayton. Faith through fire. Neto, what's up, dude? Purple hat is looking good. Looking real good. Uh, I'm hoping for zero con. Me too, Pablo. I want all the controversy, all the drama. I want all the drama to be from the competitors and their playing and how thin I know these margins are going to be. I, I'm hoping, usually we hope for a best of seven. I'm hoping for a best of nine. I hope it comes down to the final few seconds of the final hundred points and we all get to sit here and enjoy it. Make sure you go and support both of these guys too. I'm sure you're all, Legacy's like what, the second largest uh, MCOC YouTube channel, uh, I believe, uh, if maybe the third. And uh, McLinks has a phenomenal following, does a, ter uh, a terrific show on Twitch there. The links to their channels are in the description. I'm sure you're following both of them, but in case you're not, please at least take a minute, pull up their streams. I know some people like to uh, listen to them. Links is in Portuguese, so if Portuguese is your more comfortable language, please make sure you go watch that. He puts on a phenomenal show, and it's also fun to listen to Legacy. So I don't care. I don't care. I'd like you to support everyone. You listen to me and PWF, uh, great. If you listen to them, great. Just support the crew. Let's have an absolute, let's have an absolute blast today. Let's have an absolute blast. Neto purple hat looks amazing on everyone. I agree. I agree. We don't see enough purple hats out there in the wild. All right, let's go ahead and bring down the brackets. I, I know I can see how many people are just showing up as we're talking here. But in essence, I think you know what you're getting. McLinks, Legacy, the winner advances. And just to clear it up, because I have been getting some questions on this. This is a double elimination tournament, meaning that the winner of this match would then need to beat Fintech twice. <laughs> Uh, beating FinTech once is hard enough <laughs> to do it two times in a row. You've earned your, you've earned it. You've earned it. You've earned it. So here we go. McLinks versus Legacy, the rematch that everyone wanted to see. I will keep refreshing the feed. I'm sure Lags will be showing up soon. I'm sure he'll be showing up very, very, very soon. 
and uh, we'll keep that going. We'll get it going as soon as as he is available. And as for those who've tuned in before, you know, I'll adjust the aspect ratios of the screens for the two competitors uh, once the actual match gets started, just to make sure we've got it nicely lined up there. I'll do my best to get McLean's face cam in, in for us and all of that. So uh, lags just run a couple of minutes, Mike. No worries, man. Absolutely. We're going nine. We're going nine rounds today. A couple of minutes here or there is really not going to be a big deal. You take your time. You get yourself warm. You get yourself ready to go. You get yourself ready to go. MCL in the final. I love it, Tiago. I love it. I love it. People letting their intentions be known. This is a close vote. We've got, I'm going to be closing the poll here in just a minute. Usually I, I forget to do it, but we'll be doing that. MCL is a 58% favorite right now. That is not a large margin there, right? Uh, 58 to 42. I think that gives a good idea. MCL has been playing phenomenally. The last time we saw him play live, I think he was taking down Andrew. Uh, let me pull that up. Yeah, he went against Andrew the Rough there, as you know, a phenomenal player. I know a lot of you have been enjoying his streams as he climbs the uh, gladiator circuit there in, in the in-game uh, board. Uh, but Marcelo was, no one was beating Marcelo that day. No one, you cannot convince me otherwise, the way MCL was playing. So see if he can keep that going forward. <laughs> I see Clayton. Clayton is a is a normal, regular viewer of MCL. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't mind who wins. I just want to see you sound like me, Fuhrer. You sound like me. That's 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 my thing. <laughs> so I'm glad to hear other other uh, viewers because I I'm a fan too. I love this. I'm I'm a total BG's geek. I'm not that great at it. You know, I make it into the glider circuit. I make it into Mysterium. I was lucky enough to get into Celestial. Uh, last season, it got knocked out, though, in the meta switch. Uh, but I love this. I just think it's phenomenal, the uh, effort and the game knowledge and the skills that have been developed here. All right, let's go ahead and close the poll. It's actually moved almost to 60 to 40. So that is, I think that is a sizable sizable favorite. The, the crowd believes MCL is going to take this home to go up against none other than the FinTech. The FinTech uh, <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday, I combined Finns and Tigers' names a couple of times. That was fun. Uh, sh shoot, Pablo, you've been uh, you've been on fire lately. You're the one helping us figure out the situation with the uh, striker the other day, right? With the Spider-Man ninety nine. I love I love suggestions. I'm actually talking through. I have a crew who's been helping me talk through season two, so we can improve this for everyone, for the viewers for the competitors and for myself, because we want to get as many of these shown as possible. I know people enjoy watching them. I enjoy showing them, but I do have a real life schedule that I have to work with too. And of course the real life schedules of the competitors. So we're trying to balance all that out and get as fine tuned as we possibly can. I think we've come up with a couple of really great ideas. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, people cheering, I'm sure lags will get started. Like I said, I'm going to let him take his time. Let him take his time. There's no rush here. You got it, lads. Best of luck to you and MCL. Best of luck to you both. That's a pretty great question uh, from Jorge. Oh, I believe I have been joined by none other than the PWF. How's it going, buddy? I'm seeing a lot of Legacy fans in the chat. Uh, are there any Marcelo fans in chat? Uh, I'm, just, I'm not sure if I've seen any. <laughs> I love it. That, <laughs> that is, yeah, we need to see more Team MCLs. You got it, M7. I'm going to put that on. Uh, dude, are you ready? Are You, you know that... <laughs> feel free to come and go as you need to, man. Best of nine. This is going to be This is going to be a long one. Yeah, I've got my water bottle bottle filled up. <laughs> uh, I I have my uh, I have my caffeinated beverage mm -hmm. to go. M seven, thanks so much. This it is a lot of work, but I as I said, I love doing this. I often doing the commentating find myself just being a viewer, you know, just just enjoying and trying to learn, trying to learn. Uh, from this group here. All right, lags is set up, ready to go. I'm sure they'll be starting any minute. I 
I have no idea. To, and I'll just say this now. Uh, for some reason, Stream Elements has been deleting a lot of messages. That I'm not sure why. I think it's maybe from the caps or from a lot of emojis. I personally see absolutely not. Like, I can see the one here. It's just saying, let's go Brazil. I like there's nothing wrong for cheering for a country, especially Brazil. So please know that that's not coming from me. That's just the stream elements there. <laughs> Your stream elements is a bully. It is. A, it is a bully. You know, a lot of people say that Tippy, the moderator on my Discord server, oh. is a bully. And I've seen I've seen Tippy go off. You know, it, it's reprimanded. I believe you, DLL, Cat Murdoch. I mean, it, it has it has no qualms about putting a celebrity in it in their place. Um, but I don't think Tippy's nearly as stringent or strict as Extreme Elements. Yeah, Tippy. Tippy's a monster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a good squirrel these days, but uh, I, you know, she does her job. She does her job, so I, I gotta let her do it. You know. Nimbalabe, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so anyone else, I'm just curious, I'm curious. And, and I understand I, I understand what I'm asking as I'm about to ask it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, how many people are going to be watching the uh, Women's World Cup after this? The USA is going to be going up against Vietnam. Uh, it's going to be in about four hours my time. And I'm pumped up on it. I have people coming over and we're going to have a good time watching it. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, and I'm curious if there's any other uh, Women's World Cup fans out there. I think they're about to get started. I'm going to be honest and say I did not know that the Women's World Cup is going on. Yeah. Yeah. Not not having cable kind of removes a lot of ESPN from your life. <laughs> it does. ESPN's doing a good job of trying to promote it, too. Like, I've been on their website, of course, a few times over the last few days. Uh, and they've had it be, like, the front page article a couple times. They did, like, a thing on Alex Morgan. She's a, a very famous... Um, women's football player not i don't she's not at the end of her career but she's on the on the back the back side of it the back nine as they would say uh but she's still young enough where i think she's one of the most prominent players in the tournament looking forward to seeing her uh tonight go australia i that might either either daniel's just having some fun with chat or is aware that the tournament is is being hosted by australia and new zealand uh, and Marcel is asking if they can start, and I believe everything's ready to go. Yes, go for it. You two have a great time. We're 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 comfortable. We're ready. Yeah, I can see there are a couple uh, women's football fans out there. This is probably Morgan's last cup. I would think so, but I personally, Nick, would have thought it was Rapino's last time. Uh, I so my family and I, I I'm a little, actually a little disappointed. We traveled to the last two Women's World Cups. It's a phenomenal travel, uh, especially for a family with young kids, because you still have a lot of that like international flavor and motivation, and you get to see a very cool sporting event. The crowds are very passionate uh, about it. It is a friendly competition, though. Like um, we saw the U.S. play Nigeria in Vancouver, and like we were literally dancing in the streets with Nigerian fans. It was just so much fun. It was just so, so much fun. Uh, all right. I don't, I, as much as I enjoy that and we can talk about it other times, uh, we'll get back to the reason y'all are here, which is to see lags and, and Micklinks here. Go ahead. O OMG, I am going to acknowledge that. Usually I would ignore a comment like that. Um, if you draw up something where I could make the screens of the players larger and not over, like, cover each other or themselves, you let me know. Because my interest is definitely in showing as much of the players as possible. The other stuff's there just is so it's not a blank space. All right, so we've got Valkyrie, Tigra, and Spider-Ham on Lags' side. Or is that banned from Lags? Oh, no, Lags does a ban. He bans Tigra. Mm -hmm. And then Bishop, Sassy, and Archangel on the other. Yeah, Lags is pretty consistent with banning Tigra since he does not play her. 
It's she is incredibly powerful. Yeah. And if you don't put in the effort to learn her for all these new champions, yeah. Yeah, it's it's to be safe. It's really um you put yourself into trouble too. Like I've done that in a few metas where I'll be like, well, I do have her at rank four. I'm I basic with her, but then I run into players who are just so much better than me and they destroy a defender who I had had relied on to do well, you know. It looks like Lex is getting a lot of champs he likes here. I see other people in the chat. Uh, guys, remember, I adjust this as soon as the, the actual match gets started. We will get it adjusted. I definitely want to show as much of, of MCL and lags as possible. We'll get it adjusted. We're just not going to do it beforehand because often uh, things then change and we have to adjust it again. And yes, this is the victory track meta. Starting up with Jugs versus Korg and then Hulkling versus Nick Fury. Pretty standard matchups on both sides. Uh, really just need the start here for Legacy to work well. And then he's just going to completely shut down Korg. You do have to worry about the power if you do nullify anything, but Korg doesn't have any buffs himself, so... Yeah, he's getting the counter punch, lights in to remove an extra rock stack. Gets that special two in just before the rock shield comes back up. Um, I think Marcel ate part of us, Nick Fury special one, but he regen it all back up. And Nick Fury, after that first special two, just drops. Gives him a little love tap to remove the unstoppable with the second life. Great use of the striker to push him above two bars of power. Oof. Legs doesn't get good timing there with the rock shield coming back. Great fight on both sides. Just a little bit unfortunate timing there for Legacy with that rock shield. Yeah, uh, as I was adjusting the screens, I was listening to you, so thank you. Is um, It looks like MCL actually won on time and health there, right? Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah, I believe you finished full yellow. Now Legs is trusting on that. Rank 2 Mysterio. Ooh, Hulkling versus Killmonger. I do not enjoy that fight. If you can't control the reverb, it's so much damage back on you. Yeah, I guess the only semi-benefit of this is that you're not placing debuffs. But even then, uh, is it only damaging debuffs that are the problem for Killmonger? Like, will the um, no, will it's all it's all debuffs that give him extra power. Yeah. Okay. And you also have to push him to special two, otherwise you can't hit his block. Yeah, and he just let him throw a special one. And then there's the unstoppable, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. Although, if you're unblockable, I guess it doesn't fully matter. <laughs> Ultimately, yeah. Yeah, essentially, you do need to go unblockable <laughs> at some point, so that's true. Good point. MCL has lost a little bit of health. This is kind of the thing with Spot. Which I think, I feel like now matters more, right? With the scoring changes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you see that little bit of reverb kicking in here. Yeah. And he gets the Intimidate up, but yeah, he's not going to go unblockable here. And he's about to get punished for that, for the aggressiveness. Oh, wait. Oh, and the reverb, yeah. 
So I'll tell you, uh, just again, I'll also talk about like kind of feeling like I get to learn a little bit about these competitors. I can often just kind of tell the way they play and, and things like that. The thing that continues to impress me about uh, Marcelo is how adept he is at using a variety of champions. Right, like all every competitor seems to have their comfort champions or ones they're they're better with or what have you. I I've yet to see a match of his where I feel like he didn't know how to approach it. Like every single time, it feels very much like he has a plan. He's done this before. It's it's really impressive. It really is. It, it's a lot like fintech in that way, where you're just like, uh, yesterday we were saying it's like I uh, don't want to say it's a throw, but yeah. Yeah, good point. Uh, how many how many seconds of ads from Twitch today? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I finally broke down last time because uh, I learned. You know, I talked to MCL and he explained to me how to how to get, make it so we didn't get ads. And he even offered to gift me one because you know we're we're showing this. Uh, but I, I told him I couldn't accept that, and we we took care of it. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully today, no more ads. There were no ads yesterday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and Marcel almost passed up that rank 5 Omega for the Scorpion. I, I think you covered this earlier. I, I feel like you said this This is the victory track meta, so it's not the one, it's not the Gladiator Circuit one right now. So there will not right. be the uh, the bleeds. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, rank 5 Omega doesn't really need that. No. Although it looks like the Wolverine Relic on him, so not the Mr. Sinister that's going to give you the bleed. I have to tell you, I'm still sitting here in a little bit of uh, astonishment that they're doing a best of nine. <laughs> like, it feels really odd to say that McLinks could go up to zero, and it's like, it's no big deal. <laughs> there's there's still right. seven more. Cherry, yeah, and I'll address it real quick, because I, I can see, like, I think 150 people have entered since I said it the first time is the Legacy and McLinks actually came to me and said that they would like to do a best of nine and would I be okay with that? Uh, we will not, the finals will be a best of seven. But for this one, since they wanted to do it, they know they were aware that their original matchup, uh, you know, went a bit sideways. They wanted to give everyone a best of nine. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Leopold, yeah. So the first one to win five. Yep. Yeah, so... Surprise Omega Red on defense here. And then also surprise Juggernaut versus Hercules. If he dashes back, you get the Infuriate and you lose your gem. Which just happened, like literally as you're saying it. Herc. It, just uh, a menace. With the... Seeing that the Omega Red is on defense, I'm assuming this is probably just a strategic throw from, from MCL all the way around. Yeah, it's pretty surprising. But no, if you do get cornered, or if you corner him, those spores are going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, and uh, Lax was pretty aggressive with that there. And um, I mean, it looks like it's going to turn out okay. But he pushed mm -hmm. OR to his SPT. It's obviously going to turn out fine, as I'm saying that he's already scored 49,000 points. Uh, but that, that did look like it had the chance to go sideways for him. Yeah, because I know Andy, when he was having his uh, little spiral moment on stream, got like five piece from an Omega and just cornered. Really? Yeah. Uh, people are asking if that's a rank five CGR. I don't think it is. I, 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 mm. I, I don't think so. Although, you know what, uh, and Lags is, he's fully in preparation mode for uh, trying to qualify for the, what do they call it, the Battle Run Brawl. Uh, he talked yeah, It's just a, yeah. It's a 20k PI, so unless it's SIG 1. Yeah, it's probably rank 4.
Yeah, MCL doesn't look too distressed over there. I, I think he was aware of how this matchup was going to go. Yeah, he might have been trying to bait out the Guardian, I'm not sure, just so his Domino would have a little, little bit more presence. No, wait, Marcel has the Guardian, never mind. It, it's really tough to commentate, right? To keep you know, to keep the two screen <laughs> screens straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah, is. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's wondering what I'm talking about, like turn us off sound wise and, and really try to do it. It's it gets confusing at times. Yeah, Marcel's got a rematch here. The fight he did pretty much follows you the first time. And then Cherry's got one of her you know, best matchups with Domino. I think the Unstoppable was, for me, is making uh, putting this in Shuri's favor a little bit without ever seeing this this race before, at least not remembering it, because she could do damage while the Unstoppable was going. Uh, but MCL appears to be having no trouble over there. <laughs> Ooh, just a. Huh? Yeah, luckily with the Fury just turtling up when he goes to Second Life there. I mean, how many metas in a row have we seen Hulkling be one of the top Nick Fury killers? He, My boy Hulkling's pretty good. Ooh, legs just closed real fast there at the end. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, those... Rips after the SP one. Wow. So that's the thing that was... about about Shuri is she even they made it so she ramps more quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, and so as a result, I think you know she's very usable in battlegrounds. Uh, people who watch my channel know that I, I've been talking about her for a long time in battlegrounds. But like the way that fight went was not surprising to me because it takes a while. It does still take a little while for her to get that ramp going I and mean, mm -hmm. she still could have ramped significantly higher but enough for it to be battlegrounds and then once she's got it oh boy it mean it, it closes fast yeah and then those couple hits marcel took on the block right after fury went second life yeah that was about 600 points or so and he didn't have that health loss in the first round It still feels like we're just warming up, huh? I, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, and bands are staying the exact same. Take a quick minute to say hello to some people I saw come in the chat. What's up, Bean? We got Rye, Chaos Limits. Hey, Doc. What's up, man? <laughs> Rage, all right. Margin for error is razor thin. You know, there's nothing like doing a uh, YouTube to learn which phrases you say a lot. And I have learned, I say the margins are razor thin. <laughs> that's like my exciting. That's like, let's get everyone really pumped up. <laughs> I realize I say that a lot. I also say phenomenal a lot. We get our first Jessica sighting here. It looks to me like that Sparky is a rank five and the Scorpion of Marcel's is a rank four. It does look like that. Two of Legs' favorite attackers there. Yeah. But I think he's checking to see what he has for defense. Yeah, rank five Korg. <laughs> God. And I got a quick shout out to Roy Yu, Eric Sai, and Odysseus. <laughs> Roy Yu's crazy. That guy is crazy. All right, what does he have for Jessica Jones here? Is uh, Sparky just build up the poise and then try to nuke her down before she goes unstoppable? 
I, I have um, no, I, I assume, I mean, that seems to be the general plan with him in any Battlegrounds matchup, I guess. Right. But, I mean, you're already going to be cornered so fast in this fight with her medium that it's going to be a little bit more difficult to build up the poise. I'm just totally zeroed in on MCL side because I'm curious how he goes about it. Oof. Yeah, that block damage is starting to add up for him. Yeah, and those four weaknesses. Oh, and that guy was toast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Lags must have pulled the uh, that medium medium trick, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you get the right AI, AI with spot, jeez. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward uh, to Spot coming as a seven star. Yeah, I believe I saw Nick one three six in the chat earlier, and he uh, he had to enjoy that Spot gameplay. Nick's here. What's up, Nick? All right. So I mean, Lads wins clearly. Yeah, and I, I think he's surprised by the outcome with his Jessica. He does look surprised. Um, that being said, to me, I'm still so impressed with with Marcelo there. That's an example of what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Where like, oh, apparently he knows how to take out Jessica Jones very efficiently with his uh, Starkey. Right. And as I was mentioning, though, he was in the corner most of the entire fight, and he just didn't bat an eye at it. Just like, all right, I'm in the corner. Come yeah. on, let's play, Jessica. Yeah, just totally like, yeah, this is where he wanted. So he's, uh, I'm also realizing how much MCL's letting lags have his gown. That that feels like a pretty typical strategy in these tournaments for for me is folks they they want to, they don't want gallon in lags' hands. MCL's been okay with it so far. I'm curious if we see that change uh, later on in the match. This is a dangerous matchup here, this future Ant-Man versus Domino. Obviously, it can go well, but she can crit fail you. He doesn't have that protection that a lot of the more recent tech champions are having with the ability accuracy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Viv already had a decent amount with her phase, but now it sounds like her buff or... <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what term to use anymore, do you? Yeah, yeah. It, okay, wow. Gallon just dropped. Yeah. I wasn't uh, even looking at that. I was looking at the future Ant Man. Same yeah. was I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, rank five spot. Good night. And I have a feeling my uh, my bringing up, maybe MCO will start banning Gallon. Probably not going to ban him in the next round. I think he's okay with likes having Gallon right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, Andy says he always bans Spot, and yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, Phantom Man taking all that crit fail damage. Yeah, there's just a lot there uh, for her to, to mess up with. I, I really like Phantom Man. He's. If Kabam ever does Ascension, which I am not going to let them forget, uh, I will I will continue <laughs> to say the word Ascension as much as one needs to say it. He will be one of my first ones that gets Ascended. Uh, but he's not. I, I don't like him for Domino at all. Okay, we saw Lags do this well yesterday, I believe. He was using Absorbing Man incredibly well. I'm a little surprised he put Hulkling on defense over Fury for the extra time it's going to take. Oof, but that hit into block and not great SP2 timing. No. Oh, 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 wow. Yeah. When you're attacking Hulkling, you never want to see this animation. And yet, with his power gain, I see it way more than I want to. <laughs> Yeah, because he threw the SB2 into both yeah. indestructible and unblockable. I, 
I personally tried this this CGR into Hulkling matchup, and um, mm -hmm. I have not been able to get it. I'm sure like Slayer of Gods would know exactly how to tell me how to do it, and I've had players do it against me well, but I've never been able to mm -hmm. do it do it well myself. Yeah, and no, legs take down a Korg. It looks pretty similar to the one from round seven yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I was like, I started to say that he did it with Kor against Korg. And I was like, wait, maybe they're all against uh, a Tuma. But yeah, he he obviously knows what he's doing on that side. <laughs> oh, McLinks, I have no idea how to do this fight. <laughs> it's it, dude. It is. I don't know if he's listening or not, but uh, I don't think mm -hmm. he is. It can get very frustrating the CGR versus Hulkling to be like, yeah. why is he indestructible again? Stop it, right? All right. Yeah, you get that one SP2 at the wrong time. It's just like, ugh. So deflating. All right. So um, I, I'm trying to adjust to the new, to the best of nine. I think it's now that we would say, no, because even now, if McLinks wins, it's still only, uh, it's still, it would be two to two. If Lags wins, it'd be three, one, and he still has to win five. So I, I don't think we're in any danger zone yet here. No, but I just hope that last round with the CGR doesn't like Marcel's able to just completely forget that. So, so I, I, I you know me, I, and I mean this actually as a compliment of the of these of this level of competitor that have, have been in my tournaments. I think Marcel has probably had the lowest lows and it does not seem to phase him at all. And I think that is a real sign of, of mental toughness. I, mm -hmm. Like I, I would almost bet money that his next fight is flawless because I've seen him do it so many times. Like in the beginning, I used to think like, uh Oh, the wheels are coming off the bus here a little bit. This could be the start of the downward slide. And then he wins the next three matches in a row. Like, it, it just he's 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 a real competitor and able to take a mistake or something that would bother a lot of people and just be like, all right, I move on. You know, that day is done. Let's move on. Wally, we need a smoke break. <laughs> She's you're telling me, man. <laughs> you're telling me. Yeah, and Mr. K is bringing up a good point with how much he does live stream. That is you know, able to take a little breather. Yeah. Mid match. That, that is, I think that's actually a great point is, you know, if you watch some of these longer uh, BG live streams, which I, I do enjoy watching when I can, even the, the best players, I mean, these guys, they lose. It happens. Like they know how it goes. Uh, so you're right. There is a, 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 a skill there that's been earned, Misty. That's a good point. Yeah, and Finn's right too. Uh, Lags's fight was a little slow for Lags, but again, I think this is—I've seen MCL do this a million times. I, I don't think he's thinking about it at all. Or if he does, he doesn't let it affect his gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then Marcel's a little disappointed with that late round Scorpion because he went with the Mephisto in the last round. Oh yeah, that's like when you draft Domino and the your opponent gets Nimrod in the final pick. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's legs is going straight back to Hulkling on defense. I, I think you have to go with Hulkling here. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Cat players making a good point too. I don't associate CGR with either of these guys. And it is weird for me to see them both using him so much today. Yeah, because normally when I think victory track, all I think is uh, Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... yeah, Legs has just been doing a great job of banning her, so it's like, where, where's Valkyrie? Why isn't she coming up? Yeah, something must be wrong. Uh, speaking of things going wrong, Lags missed that first heavy, heavy uh, punish there, and he accidentally decks. He's smart, though. We've, I mean, this goes way back to when I first started my channel of the like, don't fear Dex. If you do, it's okay. Just go to your SP3. Lax is handling that well, but it is costing him time. 
Mm-hmm. I don't believe that was his intended plan going into the start of the match. Yeah, and Marcel gets that SP2 off without the indestructible. But he's not able to you know, bring up the striker afterwards like so many people like doing with that big fury. But, yeah. Unless something goes really bad on Marcel's side, I think he's got this round. Yeah. Yeah. That that fight just went Ooh. sideways pretty early for lads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the fate seal fell off just at the wrong time. I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering uh, essentially what Wally's saying there in the chat is because I'm telling you I don't associate CGR with either of these guys um, and I'm so I'm wondering if it's like a new rank or it's, it's it does seem um, strange. I, I do believe it is a pretty new rank for Legacy. I think he did it a couple streams ago. Okay. They're probably trying to use CGR in the current meta too, the current Gladiator circuit with the uh, the bleeds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where Legs did it, and uh, FinTech's trying to start some drama there in chat. Uh, oh, Finn! <laughs> Finn just put ca- some gas on that fire. CGR fans do not stay quiet. They are not a quiet crowd. Yeah, and this one, just based off pure speed, has to favor Legacy. Uh, although Lags Lags is playing with fire a little bit there with how much he's with how aggressive he's being. Mm-hmm. I, I, he's having a lot of faith, I think, in the signature ability of Scorpion, which is, Ooh, I mean, yeah. I, I, trust me, I get it. I do the same thing. My, I, I'm actually going to put out a video soon of Scorpion's health going yo-yoing around, but I, I don't like how close he's letting Mephisto get to his SB3. Mm-hmm. But I, th- I think he's also having faith in his Nick Fury. Yeah. That's just going to take enough time. Oh, another special one to the face for legs. And now he really... Man, he, he's going to win, but... <laughs> Wow, that's... He is going to win, right? I'm trying to measure the health bars here. Um, I'm going to think so, because Marcel looks like he's playing to just take off the first life only. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's still the first life. Okay. Uh, not the cleanest round for these two guys. This is This is not mm-hmm. the cleanest one. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he tried the SP2 at the end, but oh, goodness. It, it appears as though the CGR crowd is not here because Finn, <laughs> Finn set fire to that and um, yeah. it just went out on its own. That The CGR crowd is not here today. Maybe they'll be in your playback and come for him. <laughs> yeah, the, the comments, the comments will be strong. All right, here we go. I mean, this the, you're you're right. This is kind of big. I, I, you don't want to go down th- three to one, even in a best of nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, it looks like is Marcel's CGR just rank three? I don't know. It's like they, you know, it's like when they communicate, they're like, hey. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go best in nine and let's both pick a champion. We don't totally know how to use. Yeah. Yeah. You see that early infuriate failing a judgment. I, I know that gallons one of Lax's uh, signature champions. I, I think I favor CGR on this one though. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting all that damage in now. Oh, but the Unstoppable is going to come through. Yeah, they've both taken some damage here. <laughs> yeah. You know, Marcel is just like, again. Yeah, goodness. You can almost see it. It's like watching the gameplay. Mar you can tell Marcel is just like, please, just die. Oh. Like, oh, I'll throw specials. I'll do what I have. It, it, this, this is not the cleanest. This is not the cleanest. No, legs is going to have a chance here. Yeah, I think he is. He doesn't know it though, and so he might play a little riskier than than he should if he mm -hmm. knew what we know. He's going to have to hurry to get the rest of his health down. Yeah, and he's not going to get his striker up, is he? And Fury went unblockable. No. He's got a problem. Oh, Fury throws the heavy form. Gives him the opportunity. Wow. He's got to throw a special, though. What's he What's he waiting for? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to be so shocked when he sees this. Watch this. Watch his face. Oh. oh. Watch the lights as fast. There it is. Wow. Yeah, and Finn's commenting that another Infuriate failed one of CGR's judgments. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Might might see Marcelo ban CGR from his own deck at this point. I, look, if I was like their manager, if I was in their corner, if this was boxing and I was their trainer, I'd be like, y'all need to stop playing CGR. <laughs> it is not working mm -hmm. for either of you. Um, yeah. But we that's don't part of it. See, uh, no deck change, but maybe he's just not going to draft him as much. Oh, and, and Chad is giving Finn a point against CGR. Oh. So the is CGR crowd's really going to have to come back strong. Yeah, I is this <laughs> is this the the is this signaling the the death of CGR? Is that what's happening here? Oh, Finn, Finn's digging the grave. mm Mhm. Oh, I don't think he dug the grave. I think he put the first shovel of dirt on top of, of the casket. Oh. I think, yeah. I think we're much further progressed. <laughs> well, I, I try my best not to have competitors that are still in it on call. Because trust me, I, I mean, I would love to have uh, that sort of knowledge on. Uh, so I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> the CGR slander. Okay, I think I think we may be getting waking up some of the CGR fans here. Um, the band stayed the same. Yep, they've stayed the same the entire time. This is really surprising. Lags right is round in pain. domino. Yeah. <laughs> Lags is in pain. You can see it. Oh, mastermind, I'm with you on that one. I used to call I used to call Falcon boring, but right now he's my favorite champion in the game. <laughs> uh, who's gonna use his spot? Wow, okay. Uh, spot has so many moving parts and chances too. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's got any ability accuracy protection. I, I'm wondering if this is like a throw. No. I, I've seen it a few times and um, the untouchable can fail. Yeah. It's not pretty, especially <laughs> with Marcel going with his favorite Nick Fury counter. <laughs> Yeah, if yeah, Marcelo with Hulkling versus Fury, you know that's going to go pretty on that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to need something to go very wrong in that fight. You know what? I'm not going to jinx lags, but keep an eye on this left side, everybody. Uh, 
No, he's cornered, though. But this may be about to end right here. There it is. The loss of health is going to be it, though, because Marcel is going to be so clean on this side. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. The, un the uh, unblock will be two to finish it. Ow. Really well played by them both. And I think Legs delayed his SP2 a little bit, or that second untouchable, because I believe he was unlucky at the time, and he didn't want to risk it. Yeah, I thought, I actually thought he might be lining up to get it in that first untouchable set. I didn't see what prevented it, but uh, I still don't know if that timing-wise would have made a difference, though, because health is so important now. Yeah, I think it was too, way too much health loss. Yeah. Especially given like like a cherry insane there, Marcel has got that that fight down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's only been one mutant ad in the past year, but uh, Hulkling's doing a good enough job. <laughs> this is true. And some people say Titania is one of the best mutants. <laughs> A little surprised with the gallon here. Over absorbing man. Because Nick Fury can do this fight. Yeah. I'm assuming this was probably feeling like he has to have uh, absorbing man for the third round. So. Mm -hmm. I can't figure out a, a reason to do it this way either. I'll admit, I'm also a little surprised at how cleanly Fury is doing this fight. Is that a rank five Fury? Wow. She's just going to drop here. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Daniel. I, I, I almost <laughs> want to make a new rule. <laughs> like, you, you're not allowed to use CGR. <laughs> yeah, I think Lace is going to be surprised and disappointed by this outcome. I, I am surprised at how cleanly Fury did that. Obviously, Marcel knows what he's doing, but Mike, I know. I, I I I think that's part of why I'm so surprised. Is I was ready to I was calling that Fury was on the back half of his career, but if he's taking out Jessica Jones like that, then uh, there's a mm. chance I was wrong. I you know I don't get them all right. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is PWF on call. Like one of the smartest. And also nicest people you'll ever meet in MCOC. And um, no one is better at co-hosting than him. Uh, people actually, in some terms, <laughs> will specifically DM me and be like, uh, Vega, we really like having you do the tournaments. But if you could have PWF on to do most of the talking, we would really like that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, here he is. P PWF of fighting out of four Loki, of the four Loki corner of the battle realm. I appreciate the kind words. Oh, it's true. It's true. That's the thing. I'm still... Uh, I, I, I actually may go back and watch that Fury versus Jessica. Uh, because Fury doesn't cleanse. I didn't see them sitting in at high bars of power. So is he just light? Uh, I believe yeah, he just did lights and then one special two. She still didn't go unstoppable when he threw the SP2? There's something that's confusing me. Pure, 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 pure fights me to stay on the opponent. So, okay.
Huh. That's interesting. It looks like I learned a little bit today. That's cool. All right. Uh, three, two. I feel like we're, I feel like we're getting started now. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. Gonna sit up right in my chair. <laughs> And Legs got his safety Nimrod, so the domino here doesn't matter. Still Pixar. Um, probably offensive use. If you would have not. Sure, against who? Yeah, I don't. Oh, that is a. Are we confirming that's a rank five Nick Fury for Marcel? I guess you just probably look at the PI next time. Probably better. Uh, Karate Mike, a guy who knows a thing or two about this game, you can use one special two against Jessica safely. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Domino against Hercules this time. I mean, this and felt Mike's very. With the... Yeah. Uh, please go ahead. I interrupted you there. Oh, uh, uh, he's going with the second most common Nick Fury counter in the past year. <laughs> yeah. Also not a mutant. Uh, I believe Juggernaut is one of DLL and Nahorn's favorite uh, characters in the whole game. I, I have heard that out of Nahorn's mouth. Yeah, it's weird. But, uh, you know, I, who might argue with such with such, uh, yeah. such people as that? And this also feels like this was intentional. I mean, MCL had a, a whole... List of champions he could select. He knew Nimrod was on the board. I think he wanted this domino. Mm -hmm. And I think she just failed it. She, she was supposed to crit bleed there, and she didn't. <laughs> she never does, except against you. Yeah, even in this tournament. I mean, yesterday, she was just doing terribly for everyone. Um, but when we go up against her, you know, if we, if we all turned off the stream and got on our phones and did Battlegrounds matches, our opponents would have phenomenal luck with her. Let's see if this one crit fails. Nope. But he he is at 100% health. Yeah. All jokes aside, oh, he oh. may win this. Yeah. Legs didn't time that dex perfectly and got the disorient. Lags with the intercept. That's going to be big. Into the striker, into the special two. Hope he doesn't nullify. Yeah, he's not he's not getting great crit RNG on that special two though. No. Uh I think Lax is gonna win due to health. Oh yeah, and Marcel's not actually going to fully take him down. No, but Marcel got a little willpower here and there. Mm-hmm. Not enough. That one was back and forth. There were definitely moments where I thought for sure Lags was going to win in the beginning. Then I thought for sure uh, MCL was going to. And then it swung back to Lags. Yeah. Domino, she does not like performing on stream. No. She, 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 she refuses. Yeah, OMGKT1, she never, I, I never get to see her work. It's always my opponent in Battlegrounds. The Lex is throwing his spot on defense. <laughs> Domino's performance anxiety? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for being here. And Laser wants us to go back to trashing CGR instead of Domino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and this one's really just going to come down to amount of health loss. Oh, couple. Oh, hitting into the portal block. <laughs> um, Warlock's infection should not lower the unstoppable ability accuracy because he only lowers offensive. Although maybe this is an offense, I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. I'll admit this is a weird one to commentate on because neither of these is like ideal counters. Falcon, yeah, Falcon doesn't counter it, right? And he only lowers defensive. Yeah, he only lowers defensive. Okay. But I think defensive is like when you're hitting the defender, right? Like mm-hmm. when you're hitting versus whatever. Right. Like I said, this is a weird one to comment on because because <laughs> it's basically what you're yeah, seeing right now. Maybe it's just an overall ability and not offensive or defensive. Um, legs need to be careful here with that agility debuff. Oh, he's going for the dex is dangerous with that debuff on you because it lowers your dex ability accuracy. This is not the cleanest of rounds. No. And, and Lags may lose this here. No, he finally got over the 10 combo, so I think he's going to be okay. Wow. Oh. Yeah, both champs are just ones that are going to tick you down a little bit. Bot with his ruptures when you hit into his untouchable. And then Void just with all of his debuffs. <laughs> the chat is hazing me right now. Uh, R2 Falcon is the worst they ever saw. I'm sure you saw worse somewhere out there. Somewhere somewhere on YouTube, there's someone doing something worse than me. I, I don't ever claim to be the best. But being the worst in the world, I don't think that's me. <laughs> Maybe the the worst half, you know. I'll take that. Uh, Mike is saying defensive abilities that trigger when you hit the defender. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Uh, He's still not telling us if the unstoppable is offensive or anything. I don't, I don't know. Here's the secret: no one actually knows. <laughs> and yeah, bands stay exactly the same on both sides. Uh, in my in my like uh, preparation for this to be a nine you know a nine round one, I'm realizing lags can actually close this now, right? Uh, he should be able to because he has Indeed. four wins already. Yeah. Uh, and then Chase is saying that Warlock lowers all ability accuracy. I thought it was only offensive for some reason. You know what, uh, PDF? I think you probably played the game long enough. When when Warlock came into the game, I believe he was lowering all uh, ability accuracy, right? And then they uh, fixed him to uh, to just be offensive, I believe. And I think it was he, another he, lifetime ago. <laughs> yeah, I I think I think he actually says offensive too, though. I think this one really was a fix. All jokes aside. Uh, I think this truly was one of those like, okay, they're right. Okay. And, and then Mike saying it's neither offensive nor defensive is just unstoppable. Okay. I mean, this is years ago. Um, mm-hmm. The weird stuff we remember. I, I, I was a terrible, <laughs> terrible player at this game at that time. <laughs> but for some reason, I remember that. All right. Uh, we're acting like we still have like two more hours of this. Like literally, Lags could finish this right mm-hmm. here. MCL's got to win three in a row. He's not playing yeah, as well as, going... as he did the other yeah. day. Yeah, the other day he was beating everyone. Uh, so yeah, here we Lags go. Lags is going back to a spot with Domino. See if he gets the same type of RNG. Uh, Marcel's just going to be a pretty much parry heavy fight, so you can mitigate the incinerate damage you take. You know, I forgot about this because the meta changed. There's been a while. Th- this meta actually was pretty good for spot because when the defender is unstoppable, you can just rack up so many of your ruptures when you're untouchable. But um, kind of to the point you've been making, like he's just losing so much health due to Domino's crit fail. Here he goes. And Meph- Mephisto just gives you one little love tap. Curious if it ends up mattering. Uh, I don't think it will. Lags lost like maybe 5% of his health during that SP2. Really? Yeah. I assume stuff was crit failing. I don't know. 
I, I don't think it would have made uh, a difference there. MCL played that nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Fintech's giving us uh, all the reasoning behind the, the Unstoppables and its different counters on offense and defense. Do you ever think, like, uh, you know, sometimes something will happen like that and Kabam's like, hey, we don't actually know. <laughs> Who wants to DM Fintech? <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's anything, it would be regarding Domino because she's Domino. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like, ah, uh, she does so many things. Why is this happening? I I really can't imagine them being like, is uh, is DLL awake? No. Okay. Uh, get Finn on the phone then, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, bring us back. To, sorry, I, I this is a long. I can't imagine playing this long because uh, I'm losing it already a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. and they're, they're playing. Is, he's going back to Gallon versus Korg. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm just happy we're not seeing CGR anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I think... It was Legacy that did the Jugs Nick Fury last time, so this is Marcel's first time doing it. Yeah. This match. But he, Jugs is just a monster. And I'm wondering if we're seeing, Ooh. like, it, if Ooh. this is, like, fatigue. You know, it, it was pointed out that both these guys are used to streaming for very long hours and, and doing Battlegrounds for long mm -hmm. hours. But I, I mean, like, Lags is making very uncharacteristic mistakes there with some of his, his favorite champions. Uh, or maybe just relaxing a little bit, having a, a three-set lead. she has got to be careful with those Ooh. staggers. Yeah, just pushed him two and two thirds bar of power. Yeah, what, what's yeah, he that. do? Do you know what he's doing there? That's the second time I've seen him do that. He's like wake up intercepting when Fury has bars of power. Is that safe to do against? Oh God, he needs this to kill. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> um, I know. The tendency for Nick Fury when he goes into his second life is for him to be really, really passive. Okay. Because I believe because I believe that's when he did the heavy, just wildly into the corner. Yeah, yeah, he did it uh, twice. But uh, best I could tell, the first time I caught the tail end of it, and I thought that's what happened. The second time, he yeah. definitely did. Fury had two bars of power, and he just went for it. Yeah, that. I mean, it's just some. Kind of things that when you play this much, you notice these tendencies in champions. Yeah. And then Finn is saying that Nick cannot throw his SP1 while he has 16 or more tactical charges. Because he'll lose the unblockable. Right? That'll push him up to the uh, second Fury, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which uh, honestly seems like a really weird thing to, to give him, but at the same time, it also makes sense. Yeah. Oh, hmm. is this our first torch sighting? <laughs> How is that possible? We're now in our eighth, eighth round, and uh, we're just now seeing human torch. Maybe there was a deck change. I don't think so. But it was also one of the first early round Mephisto drafts that I can remember. Usually, he's later in the draft. I don't know. I mean, this is very exciting, but I'm struggling to remember like two rounds ago. Uh, it's hard getting old, everybody. You keep that in mind. 
be kind to the old people out there. All right. Oh, we're going to get to see Mysterio. I'm excited about that. Although there is a Hulkling on the other side. Uh, may it actually may be for Domino. Now that I'm looking at it, it may be an offensive use Mysterio. Oh, uh, he. I believe he had a Nimrod as well, but oh, okay. maybe I was looking at the wrong side again. No, I. Uh, yeah, then there's a Nimrod on on Lax's side. Or shoot, I am looking at the wrong side. Okay, there there is a Nimrod on both sides. Okay. So I may have still been looking on the wrong side, and I could have been smart, but, you know. <laughs> Lax loves his Mysterio for defense. He, he's tough, even with a good counter. Why did Marcel pick I Wally, best I can tell is uh, Marcel seems to enjoy using Domino offensively. He had the opportunity to pick other champions, but picked Domino even with Lax having a Nimrod already. Used him pretty, used her pretty well against Hercules. If she gets one crit bleed, that fight looks really different. So I, I assume that's what's mm -hmm. happening here. Yeah, we're going spot versus spot. And then Lags is choosing a matchup that can go quickly, but this is part of uh, Atuma's buff: is hitting into his block. You're gonna take that Thorns damage. So yeah, I, I've seen people finish it at eighty percent health. I've seen people finish it at. 40% health. And looks like uh, Marcel's already done his first set of spotting. And he's going to need to finish pretty... Oh, and he's going to finish real quick. <laughs> yeah, it was like he heard you. I think he's going to take that. Yeah. Can Marcel push this the full uh, full nine? Lags headed into yeah. the seventh with the big lead, just needing to win one. This is where the pressure, I think, actually starts to switch onto the leader. I think I, it, it, as someone who's competed in sports and things, to me, I wanted to, I would have preferred to be the person uh, behind right now. Get that momentum going. Oof. Oof. I, I think, yeah, Marcel had, Oh, he's going with Domino here. Was not expecting that. I was expecting the Hulkling to try and finish it out. Yeah, that's just been his bread and butter. Uh, he's going away mm -hmm. from... But this is probably why he took Domino. And, uh, sh well, and then she doesn't crit there. Man, she is an RNG fiesta. Jeez, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's more than likely Lysing to take one set of Harvest, but he does have the ability to heal it back. And yeah, Callan's just not throwing. This is a weird one. Yeah, it, it's, it seems inconsequential, but the crit fail from Domino, I believe, is what sent Fury to Ooh. second life there during the special. Yeah. That that might actually end up helping wow. a lot. Yeah, the harvest happened after the Petrify fell off, so no healing here for legs at all. Yeah. So I think Marcel has this one. Ooh, and I think he, she crit failed the unstoppable there at the end. Somehow, we're we're gone the full nine. I did not think it was going to happen. There's many points <laughs> where I, I did not think we were going the full nine. But here we are. There's been a <laughs> lot of momentum shifts here. All right. Eight round, zero absorbing mans. 
too many Cosmic Coast Raiders. Yeah, way too many Cosmic Coast Raiders. <laughs> uh, yeah, both competitors take a little stand-up break. Yeah, they, which they should. Uh, I'll take this as an opportunity to just to show everyone real quick what, what we're working with here. Uh, the winner of this will will win the Constellation Bracket. We were calling it the Deadlands Bracket. And then go on to face FinTech for a chance to win the whole thing. Now, they will have to beat FinTech twice. This is a double elimination tournament. So uh, it's only fair for FinTech to have the opportunity to lose twice. Um, but they've got a full nine. The winner moves on. Uh, definitely, Ava. Uh, good luck to both. They've They've put up a good one. And they wanted the nine. Yeah, they uh, they actually asked me for it. <laughs> so here we are. The bands, I believe, have been consistent the full nine. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a change. Oh, so glad uh, they did not pick CGR there. I thought it was coming. I thought it was too. Uh, and the Omega right after a Korg pick. Not what you want to see for on legs aside. Ooh, and the void that chipped away half his health. Yep. And then a spot right after a cow. Mm. Straight to the Nick Fury on defense. For both of them. Okay. I, I feel like we've seen this match already today. Um, Mm -hmm. Here yeah, it is. And Marcel's dominated this matchup every time. Absolutely. Like it, it's why I was a little surprised to see the auto Nick Fury placement on defense. I mean, it's a virtual tie right now. Using the striker to finish off the first life while he's unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah, the, as soon as I said it was a virtual <laughs> tie, uh, Marcel took <laughs> off with Hulkling. Yeah. There it is. Hul Hulkling does not like being tied with anyone. No. Goodness gracious. He's the best, my friend. Uh, you're, you're just trying to start a CGR fight with everyone today, aren't you? I, you, you know what, though? I've been saying that one for a while, so they've, <laughs> they've already heard that argument. They've, they've already heard that opinion. Um, so here's, I want to point this out, is if this had been a best of three, Legacy wins. If this had been a best of five, Legacy wins. If this had been a best of seven, Legacy wins. Oof. It's best of nine. Just got to win two in a row. Marcel just got to win one game now. Yeah, he just throws down void. Um, I'd expect to see Titania used on offense there for legs. It's a pretty smart pick. Mm-hmm. You can see it 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 it's thrown Marcel yeah. off. That spot may be the answer, but Oh, going with spot on against Floyd? Oof. I I guess 
I'm surprised to not see Titania. Although I guess he needs Titania for a Tuma. For a Tuma. But, yeah, I mean, I... I feel like the problem with Spot versus Void was you've got to deal with the unstoppable, Ooh. right? Oh, but it's going to allow him to land a lot of hits, actually, right? Right here. Uh, but he... Mm. Yeah, there it is. There's the problem. You know what? Lag's almost had that. Oh. Oof. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Yeah. If he was able to get off that SP2, uh, well, he, maybe God, spot, good lord, yeah. Lags, Lags yeah, needs need something a, to go wrong here. Yeah, he needs a mistake, and it looks like uh, it's about to not happen. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not gonna happen. Yep, it's a wonderful comeback. By look at that, I love seeing the face cam from both these guys. This was. This one was epic. Yeah, yeah I think Legs knows he might have messed up there. Not sure if it was just a pick, but I mean, he did need the Titania for round three. Yeah. You know, we saw Void. I think Void was like a bit of a unheralded MVP here. He was causing problems on defense. Marcelo is a uh... He's pumped. He's pumped up. He is. Yeah. He's coming back in costume. I would have loved to have seen the the Wednesday. Have, have you seen Marcel's Wednesday dance? No, but he's he's having a good chug right there. Yeah. Uh, he does. He did this Wednesday Adams, the Wednesday Adams routine from uh, the Netflix show. I can't think of what it was called. Uh, it was very mm. cool. <laughs> Uh, and then M7's coming here with uh, Finn needs to win the tournament with CGR. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should let Finn know. Finn, you're only allowed to have CGR in your deck. It's a weird rule, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, the uh, show of... Like Legacy uh, has oh, uh, okay. joined the chat. Let's go and move over there. But, uh, real quick, so Karate Mike is letting me know that the show about Wednesday was actually called Wednesday. Which would make sense. Okay, let's move over and talk to Lags and uh, and MCL here. Yo, what's up, Vega? My man, how you doing, my friend? Doing good. Uh, that was a lot of battlegrounds. How, how are you? Like, <laughs> honestly, we talked about how folks like yourself and MCL, you know, you stream. You're used to this, but I, I, tournament format seems like another level of intensity. Like, what was that like? It was. A lot of fun to be honest. Marcel is such a good guy. I really enjoy playing with him, and I'm glad we got more matches to, to sell this. And I'm glad it went all the way. I had a feeling it would. Uh, you, everyone's on call now, so I kind of want to let um, let you all just kind of talk for a minute there, because uh, you all just played for uh, an hour and thirty minutes. A lot of emotion. It was. It, was, it was phenomenal to watch. By the way, thank you to both of you, everyone in the chat, and myself. And PWF, we absolutely loved uh, being able to witness it. So, congratulations to you both. What's up, Marcel? Good game, buddy. Oh, Vivek. Sup, sup, Legacy. <laughs> Veg, oh, Legacy, what you did with my Domino? Seems like she doesn't work anymore. Like, she, she used it to work against Angel. And now yeah. I use the Domino against uh, Hercules and Timed, timed Out. Uh, my god, no damage. And... I was every match uh, looking for uh, absorbing main because for me he is one of the strongest guy guys on this meta. I trained the Hintra with him. I trained the Shuri. I didn't pick. Didn't appear a single time, and I, I can't even complain because we don't play like two games, three games. We played nine games and didn't appear. Absorbing me, I, I was like, "Whoa, why not, King? Please, I'm missing you." Yeah, dude. Oh my God, I will need to call his layer of gods to 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 teach me how to play CJR. I only put. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider on deck to use against your your Ant-Man 
And uh, I trained against uh, Atuma and another one. I, I forgot the, who I'm gonna use. But every fight I used the Cosmic Ghost Rider was like the worst fight you will ever see in your life. I got <laughs> Legacy. I always expect great games against you. But this yeah, one buddy. just killed me inside. I'm not feeling so good right now. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Legs. Thank you for, for the match. Thank you, Vega, for the opportunity. Oh my god. <laughs> what yeah, what happened on the last fight? What what uh, uh, it's hard. I never did uh uh void the with spot. It's hard or not? Yeah, it was tricky. Uh just to like match up your combo and then he kind of broke my block and hit me so I <laughs> lost a lot of health. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh my god. Boyd's a great defender. You just don't see him too much. Oh, I I wasn't uh, I I should have not uh used this spot on this round. Uh but I was like then I need to go to a win. Uh I could have saved him for Hintra. But yeah. I I do know I, I, I do have Omega, so Omega works against Korg, Omega works against Hintra, not so good as the spot, but do works. Uh, yeah, uh, I was gonna use Titania I, for that uh, that Atuma. I, I probably will not place Atuma, I'll probably will place Nimrod. Oh, do yeah. you think it would be more harder or not? Because uh, I do know Titania works well. On, on Atuma, I, I saw some guys, Battle Man always beat me with, using Titania, I do yeah. hate her, but uh, I, I was like, well, uh, the same thing you said on the fight against Ender, I do have uh, Atuma and Card rank 5, they could be a little yeah. bit uh, trick defenders, so I just ban your Bishop because of this, because Bishop yeah. do really, really easy this fight, and what happened with my absorbing man was like I, I didn't appear like didn't appear a single time i was praying i was uh, to 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 be honest some guys put gospel music on my life right now so i start to to sing the gospel music and asking for some help and he didn't appear he didn't appear a single time oh well, my god you're, you're sure he's in your deck right Maybe you should double oh, check. For sure, for sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe he just exited your deck and it wasn't even in there. Oh, I will fun. check right now. I am feeling <laughs> like, oh, no, he is, he is on my deck. Oh, I do use a lot of uh, him. I tried against Shuri. I know Shuri. It's uh, a little bit annoying, seven stars. Uh, yeah, she is. In the, I, I do know he works. Uh, I tried against Hintra and do good times against Hintra rank 5, like uh, 17 seconds, something like that. So I do really want him any fight because he's uh, like, he works uh, in most of fights on this meta and unstoppable fits him with uh, Mystic Dispersion. Legacy, I do expect a hard game, but I wasn't expect uh, so hard like that, like 90 rounds, bro. Oh my <laughs> god, I think if we keep playing, we're gonna yeah. do the same, like 10-10, 11-11 would be hard. And I did a little bit come back because I was losing really, really hard. Then I, I won three in a, in a row. Uh, I do think some picks was good for me. Uh, you get a little bit uh, outpicked, and this mm -hmm. helped me a lot. Then, yeah, man. Like, you beat me six straight rounds in a row. Yeah. Every game, it was like the second round. I had to had to have like a kind of an unideal matchup so that I could win the third round. But I just couldn't get to the third round in any of them. I was throwing some 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 rounds to to third too, like uh, uh, Jugger against Nick. Uh, I saved for the third round. Uh, I'm gonna use my Nick on defense and uh, I use my Hulkling against your Hercules, but probably will not work because your Her Hercules was canceling everything <laughs> of my <laughs> my deck. Then, Legacy, what a game, what a game we play. Thank you, Vega, for the opportunity. Thank you, P PWF, for helping on the on the comments i was shouting to legacy like every fight i was like oh my god please don't look this fight guys on chat uh, every time i i finish the fight i i type something on the vega chat uh 
<laughs> to, uh, to try to explain, like, sorry guys, I I almost said a, a bad word here. I, I, I don't play with CJ, sorry. I don't want you guys to see that. Oh, big. Oh, Man, big. Marcel, when you took uh, Jessica Jones with Nick Fury, that really surprised me. You crushed that. I I have trained this match and oh, yeah. this afternoon I don't know if you check at my live stream but I was training uh out uh to to do that Jessica Jones because I do know you're gonna ban the same guys you banned yesterday uh, including Pig instead of Hook because I don't have so yeah. I trained the Hook uh just sorry sorry I trained the Nick Fury uh Hookling uh Galan uh, crossbones and spot against her. The spot didn't work as I expected. Oh, but yeah. I do know it worked. Uh, the, the, the most problem uh, on this fight is if you use something like uh, coagulation, three, uh, three points on coagulate, three points on suture, and this could be a little bit uh, worse for, for Nick Fury. Mm, yeah, I, 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 I was expecting now. I was expecting you to to be surprised on this one. I yeah, said on chat very... like uh, he didn't. Uh, I think he didn't expect me to to do to do this one. No, not at all, man. Our lock does does work on her too. Our lock can do here too, but takes a little bit more. And my lock against uh, against uh, your spot seems like my lock. It's not on his day too. It's not feeling good to work <laughs> yeah oh what, my god spot, was he just triggering like uh spots on like every hit or like what happened there no i, I first of uh, first of all I, I lost my my i i have a big big problem legacy like if i do something wrong on the fight i was like okay i'm done i lost i i tilt a lot so i didn't know you're gonna lose some life i was like oh his name rod is rank five he did in second uh seven uh six uh 16 seconds so i was like okay so i just finished the fight then i played a little bit uh how can i say worse than normal and got hit got hit again uh so a lot of times i i got like let me check uh 20 hits so i was like <laughs> i really really uh don't don't think i i i will have a chance and when i finish it you are still playing i i look on the screen and said oh guys i could have won this one so <laughs> yeah, it was very close nice <laughs> oh legs thank you thank you for the match it was really incredible yeah, glad we got a proper uh, match that's e queria better. agradecer todo mundo do Brasil. Valeu, todo mundo do Brasil que tá torcendo. Tamo junto. I, I just say hello to my guys, Brazilian guys. Absolutely. They were uh, they were phenomenal in this chat too, uh, cheering everybody on. It, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, you guys covered everything. I, I really just like letting you talk. Uh, it's we think we learn a lot and and we get to hear a lot about you. you obviously, are both great guys, and uh, I appreciate that. I, I do unfortunately need to to sign off. Um, huge, massive thank you to PWF for co-hosting. Uh, really, I know how everyone, like, how much everyone enjoys having him as the host. So and so, I appreciate him making the time to do this today. Uh, huge thank you to M Seven for the generous donation. To everyone in the chat, all the channel members who showed up, I see you all there. And everyone in the chat who made this an absolute blast. Uh, Marcel, congratulations on the win, my friend. Legacy, you know, everyone's at this scale, right? And you, you yeah. did phenomenally. Um, looking forward to continuing to follow your channel as you train uh, to try to qualify for the Battle Room Brawl and all of that. And if we do any Season 2 of the VBC next season, of course, I'd love for you to be involved. But we'll see. We'll talk to all you guys and see if you guys want to do it next season or not. Um, so thank you very much. If if Pete's still on call, I'm not sure if he is. I'd love to sign out uh, first PWF, then LAX, and then uh, MCL, Marcelo himself. Great performance by both gentlemen in the tournament. Uh, Legs, look forward to seeing you push for top eight next season. Marcel, look forward to facing, seeing you face off against FinTech. Yeah, thank you, PWF. Appreciate you uh, commentating. I, I watched back the match yesterday, and uh, yeah, I always love hearing your analysis, so appreciate it. 
Vega, thanks for always hosting these awesome tournaments, man. Um, really appreciate the show that you put on for everyone. And uh, Marcel, buddy, great matches today. Glad we, uh, we got the rematch we both wanted. And uh, hope you beat FinTech for me, buddy. <laughs> thank you, Veg. You know, uh, thank you, Lex. You know, I, I love to play against you. I, I admire you so much. So always a pleasure for me, not to, only to be here on, on Vega Better, Wor Better World, uh, but playing against you, it's a really pleasure for me. And you're a great player. So I hope we face again on another tournament. And I hope uh, that going to be always tough like, like today. Thank you, Lex. And thank you all the guys on the chat, especially Brazilians that cheered for me. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Now we're gonna drink to to <laughs> né? celebrate a little a little bit. Uh, some beer. I need some beer. Thank you, guy. Thank you, everyone. Have a great one, everybody. This is a phenomenal match. Thanks to both these competitors. I'm sure you're supporting them both already. But if you're not, links to the channels are in the description. And remember, keep an eye out on this. We're now gonna have. McLinks himself versus FinTech in the finals. You can see the bracket on the board right now. Have a great one, everybody. Bye-bye.